Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is module 4, first screen. Put your name here first. And we're drawing quick tens now and working with place value charts and also finishing equations. So here's the directions. It says use quick tens and ones to complete the place value chart and number sentence. And the first one here is started for us. The 21 shows us the, the quick tens here. 10. 20 and this is the one for the 21 and the second add end or the other part is four ones right as it says here in the number sentence and so we're gonna the number that we the, uh, the part that we're adding the other add end we're gonna draw in with X's so we can see what the where the two parts are and if we look at this all together it's ten, it's two tens and how many ones? Five ones. So 21 plus 4 is 25. We're going to do the same thing here, except now we have, we know what the two add ends are, right? But we have to draw our own picture. So start with the 21, 10, 20, and 1. And now we're going to add the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight and now that means there's two tens and now we have these these eight here plus that one one more that's not that means nine ones so that's it 29 is our whole and here we are 25 plus 4 so we need 2 10 10 20 1 2 3 4 5 and then we need to 4 more 6 7 8 9 so that's 2 tens and 9 ones 25 plus 4 equals 29 very similar to the one before it 25 plus 5 so now here we'll draw the 25 two tens one two three four five and then five more six seven eight nine ten and then when we have ten we make it a quick ten like that draw a line through it so it looks like another quick ten and that means looking at it, that's a group of 10. So it's 10, 20, 30. That's three tens and zero ones. That's 30. You might have seen that coming when you saw this 5 plus 5 here. 33 plus 3. So here we need 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And now we need three more ones. 1, 34, 35, 36. So you can see that there's six ones here, and there's three tens. 33 plus 3 is going to be 36. Now 33 plus 7, so that's 10, 20, 30. We're going to draw the 33 first, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And now the 7, you might see this, 3 plus 7. So you might know what's coming here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six seven and see that that that's seven eight nine ten that's a ten so what do we really have is four tens and no ones for 40. and we're still doing the same thing but now there's a number bond in here and it says complete the place value chart also now the number bond is going to be pretty easy because we're just looking at tens and ones just like drawing the quick tens we're going to think of well look at that 26 we need two tens that's 20 and 616 now be careful when you're drawing this number bond because the the only tricky part to it is that you're going to see a two and a six and write two and six like that and that's what you do in the place value chart when you're counting tens and counting ones. But that 2 and 6, that's a number bond for 8, not 26, because 2 plus 6 is 8. 
And you might look at it and say, but it looks like 26, but it's not. It's 2 plus 6. Those are the parts. So that's why this has to be a 20 and a 6, because otherwise it won't add up to 26. And so now we're going to draw it two tens, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we need two more ones there. And that doesn't get us all the way to ten, so we can't make a ten out of it. We have two tens, and we have eight ones for twenty-eight. And um, we don't have to write an equation down here for it, but if you really want to, you could. Well, the equation's already up here for us, right? So it's 20. We'll write the total in there. We just have a lot of room down here to write our, to draw our quick tens. And you don't have to draw that circle. I just put that there just so you could see where I, what I was talking about. 36 plus 3. So here's our quick tens. 36 is 10, 20, 30. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the parts are not three and six because that would add up to nine. It's got to be 30 and six. So think about it. It's what these add up to. That's 30, 10, 20, 30. And that's this here is six ones, 36. We need three more. Seven, eight, nine. So that still doesn't add up to ten. We can't make a ten out of this. So this is going to be a nine. So it's three tens and nine ones for thirty-nine. Twenty-six plus four. Ten. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need four more. Seven. 8, 9, 10. That makes a 10. Alright, so the 26 was 20 and 6. You can see from our picture we have three tens, but we don't have any more ones, so that's 30. 24 plus 6. Now it's, we had 26 plus 4, and now we have 24 plus 6. So you might notice that there's this 6 plus 4 and this same thing, 4 plus 6, we're going to end up with the same result. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. The picture is going to look a little bit different though because we're going to have four dots and six X's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that makes it 10. And that's 20 and 4 this time. And kind of look at the whole thing. We have three tens and zero ones, and we have a whole of 30. And solve, you may draw quick tens and ones or number bonds to help. So I'll give examples of doing, you can use any method you want, but I'm going to use, I'll just try and give examples of different ones. So 22 plus 7. So if I was going to draw this with quick tens, I would draw the 22 first and go. Two and then seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can count it all. That's seven X's, eight, nine, so that's nine ones and two tens for twenty-nine. Ten, twenty, and nine, twenty-nine. You could look at it that way too. And here we have the twenty-two plus eight. I could look I could do this with a number bond. Twenty and 2, so this would be 2, we could be looking at the 2 plus 8, that's a 10, I could write 20 plus 10, remember making 10 to add, we can do this with larger numbers too. And we can do this here also, because you can see that this, right? Remember that when we looked at this one, we had the 6 and the 4 and the 4 and the 6. Well, right here, we're looking at the same thing. Now we've got a, a 2 and an 8 and an 8 and a 2. So this 32 is 30 and 2. 
And there's that 2 plus 8, that makes it 10. Just look for those combinations to 10. So you've got that 30 and this 10, and we're going to add those together. 30 plus 10, that's 40. So keep an, keep an eye out for those partners to 10, because they can make a lot of things uh, a lot easier and save you some picture drawing and some counting.